Big Shot is a Disney Plus original series that started streaming in April and released new episodes weekly since then until its season 1 finale on June 18th. And for those of you who don't know what the series is about, it's about the character of Marvin Korn, who was the coach of a college basketball team until he lost that position when in the middle of a game, the ref made a bad call that he didn't agree with, he lost his temper, and well, he threw a chair at somebody. So then he, of course, got fired because... I mean, you you throw a chair at somebody, of course you're going to get fired. And now this series explores his journey with his demotion to now, instead of coaching college basketball teams, he has now been demoted to now coaching an all-girls private high school team. And that is clearly a huge change for him. This is supposed to just be a temporary thing for Marvin Gordon. He's not doing this because he wants to. He's just doing this to earn back the trust and the respect of everybody in the College Basketball Association so that he can then get back into that and get back into what he loves doing. So it's just supposed to be a temporary thing. But again, we explore his journey in this season of him starting to form these bonds and relationships with the girls on these on this team and the other people and faculty working at this school. And then it brings up the question of what is he going to do when and if he is presented with the opportunity to return to college basketball? Will he do that? Will he pursue that career once again? Or has he become too attached to this new girls high school with Westbrook and the whole Sirens girls basketball team? That, that's the big question of the season. And we do, of course, see that resolved by the end of the season, but I'm not going to spoil that for you now. But this show is just so good. It's such a good series. It really was a fun, entertaining series. I started watching it when it first came out. And one of the big reasons I started watching it is just because I'm a big fan of basketball. So I really enjoyed that part of it. And sure, that is the main premise of it is that Marvin Korn's a basketball coach and it's all about this basketball team. But the thing is, it's not just a basketball show. It's it's so much more than that. Because if you're a fan of basketball, you'll enjoy the series. But even if you're not, if you're into other things, there's still other things in this series that you'll enjoy and you'll still find something that you like in this series. Like, for example, if you're into like drama and acting and stuff like that, there's a part in this series that focuses on a drama club putting on a play in this high school. So there is really something for everybody in the series, whether you're into basketball or not. I really enjoyed all of it, and I thought that was just really cool because you don't have to be a basketball fan to enjoy this series. Because even more than a basketball show, this is more so a teenage dramedy coming of age story, which is really fun. I always love these types of stories. But one of the things I love the most about this is that we're not dealing with cringy teenagers because that's something I've noticed a lot lately in recent media and movies and TV is that recently a lot of people like when they're writing scripts and stuff for movies and TV that feature teenagers there's some really cringy stuff going on. It's like people don't understand what teen teenagers are really like. And I'll admit, us teenagers, we are pretty weird and cringy sometimes, but, but not to the extent that I've seen in some stuff. So I really like that in this series, you can tell that the people that have created this show really know what they're talking about when it comes to teenagers. And these teenagers actually act like teenagers, which I really enjoyed seeing for once. And also, another good thing, we didn't have to deal with what they used to do all the time, where they used to cast actors that were in like their 20s, sometimes even 30s, to play high schoolers. I, I, I don't know how, how they ever came up with that idea, but luckily in the series, we have actual teenagers playing teenagers, so that that's a good sign right there. And with this cast of teenagers, they're all so good. I'm not familiar with any of them in their other work, but I think they're all great actors and actresses. And of course, we have John Stamos leading the, ster the series as Coach Marvin Korn. And of course, he does a great job. He's an amazing actor. And the whole cast, the whole ensemble of the series was really great because they really push forward all of these different things in this series where you get to explore all the emotion, all the friendships, the romances, the drama, the comedy, the action. There's so much going on in this series. And there's some moments where you really, really start to feel things. When you watch the series, there's going to be a whole roller coaster of emotions of just so many different characters, so many scenes, and so many relationships that you get attached to in this series. So I really enjoyed that, especially because with these 10 episodes that you have in this first season, you really get to know each of these characters. I love how 
each of the characters are fully developed because that's something that a lot of ensemble projects usually have a problem with especially movies and tv shows is where you have a big cast like this especially when it's like for example about a basketball team where you have all these different players it's hard to develop a story for each of those characters and still have time to focus on each of them individually but they do it so well on this series because each character gets their moment to shine some more than others but still each of them have their moments and you get to find out what these characters really are especially marvin corn because of course he is the star of the series because he goes through such a, jo a journey in these 10 episodes because when it starts off, I'll be honest, he's a jerk. <laughs> you really do not like this character. But by the end, he changes so much because, again, he develops these relationships and these bonds with the girls on his basketball team as well as also his daughter because he starts off as this egotistical man that is just completely obsessed with basketball and doesn't allow time for anything else in his life not even his daughter to the point that by the end of the series he finally understands that he can't take these things for granted he finally understands the value of these relationships and the people in his lives so it, it was just really cool seeing all these developments and all these characters go through these changes throughout the series because there's so much sacrifice that is the big story of this season is sacrifice marvin talks about this as both being a father and a coach that you need to it doesn't matter what you want or what you need and what what's best for you sometimes you need to make those sacrifices to make life better for your daughter your children or your players and that's the big theme of this season and i really love that and really everything going on in this series was great the first episode was a little slow to get into but other than that i loved it i had so much fun waiting for each new episode every week i really enjoyed it a lot and i highly recommend it and again if you haven't seen it you need to watch this there's 10 episodes they're about 40 to 50 minutes each you can watch them all on disney plus it's a really fun series definitely recommend it and uh, before we end off this video i do want to actually get into a little bit of spoiler ter territory so again if you haven't seen it then spoiler warning you're probably going to want to click away uh for now but i do want to talk about some season two predictions because Big Shot hasn't been officially renewed for season two yet, but with how good this first season is, I'm really hoping that it does. I mean, fingers crossed that it does get a season two renewal. It hasn't been canceled yet, so as far as we're aware, it should be good. Hopefully it gets that renewal. Hopefully we get some news soon. If we do get that news, of course, I'll make a video update on it. Uh, but if you're still here, hopefully you've seen the series because we're getting into some season two predictions. I really only have two big ones. Uh, the first one of which is kind of an obvious one that is going to be very similar to season one where the Sirens, their goal was to get to D2. I have a feeling that in season two, their big goal will be their road to D1, aka Division One. And this was actually mentioned by Sherilyn, the principal at the end of the season one finale we're like all right i'll see you on the road to d1 so i'm pretty sure that's going to be a big plot line in season two for the sirens of westbrook uh but the other one i want to talk about here is with holly because of course she's now been offered this head coaching job at carlsbad and the big question is is she going to take this and i honestly think she will because this is the perfect job for her it's sure it may be a toxic environment but i mean she's getting a good pay grade over there and this is what she always wanted she always wanted to be the head coach and this is the best opportunity to for it to happen and who knows if she's going to get this opportunity again so i feel like she is going to take this job and that's going to add some conflict in season two because then probably the big game by the end of the season will be once again westbrook versus carlsbad but this time it's going to be marvin and the girls versus holly and carlsbad which is going to be really intense and really crazy but i think that's going to be a great thing for this series and going to be really interesting to see those relationships develop and how they're going to clash and conflict in season two but again, it hasn't been officially renewed yet, but hopefully we do get the news very soon. And guys, of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What did you think of Big Shot Season 1? Did you like it? Did you not like it? What are your thoughts? What are your predictions for Season 2? But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep up to date on everything that goes on in the movie life.